Since Nigeria stepped into the global telecommunications scene with the liberalization of its telecoms industry, it's been phenomenal for a sector that now contributes over 5% to the nation's GDP, attracting in excess of 23 billion US dollars in foreign direct investment and creating numerous jobs. The sources recorded with Mabel Telefini has since spread into the broader ICT ecosystem, where increasing technology consumption has made the demand for broadband internet a task that must be achieved. The country has now a broadband plan tagged, the Nigerian Telecommunication Plan, broadband plan 2013 to 2018, which was recently released. Part of the object, broad objectives of the Nigerian National Broadband Plan are to promote pervasive broadband deployment, increase broadband adoption and usage, and ensure availability of broadband services at affordable prices. All these are aimed at maximizing the political and social economic benefits of broadband. While government continues to push for infrastructure expansion, providing right regulations and policies, there is a new awakening in the private sector, which has taken the bull by the horn to ensure that Nigeria is connected. The strategy and business model for phase three is to continue to expand our footprint um, in the transmission of bandwidth for mobile operators, as we have done for many years now, certainly in the last eight to ten years. Um, and then going forward, there will be new providers because of the convergence of um, telecommunications, media uh, particularly. And so going forward, we're positioning ourselves for that convergence. Phase 3 Telecom is a national long-distance operator licensed by the Nigerian Communications Commission to provide transmission services in Nigeria. Phase 3 provides services to telecom operators, corporate organizations including oil companies, real estate firms and academic institutions using fiber deployed on electronic pylons. Phase 3 Telecom was established, incorporated actually in 2003. It was licensed in 2006 by the Nigeria Communications Commission as a national long distance operator and also uh, obtained a concession from the Power Holding Corporation of Nigeria to uh, deploy optic fiber cables over high voltage transmission lines, the 330 kVA and 132 kVA lines uh, within the western half of Nigeria. And uh, when I speak of western half, that is from northwest down to the southwest. Phase 3 has deployed a fiber optic network of over 4,500 kilometers and has commissioned several points of presence at sites located in key cities, including last mile connectivity on the open access network. Phase 3 is positioned as an infrastructure company in the open access sense of it. You know, when I refer to open access, is we have uh, an infrastructure that's broad and it's uh, expanded for everyone to leverage on. But the demand for internet is growing exponentially. We are rightly positioned to meet the future demand, or we're positioning ourselves to meet the future demand. But like you rightly said, there is a lot of current yeah. unmet demand, um, and there are a number of reasons for that, okay? Um, traditionally, uh, what companies do is they uh, match their investment with a commercial need for it. Um, uh, but we here at Phase 3 strongly believe that it's, we have to go to profit. Yeah, We follow the commercial need, but we also have to invest today for the non-commercial areas. Economists say six of the ten world's fastest growing economies are in sub-Saharan Africa, making the continent a strong force to reckon with in today's global space. Would Phase 3 expand its horizons within the region? The mandate of Phase 3 is to be West Africa's aerial fiber optic IP backbone company. What that means is that we have a unique mode of deployment that's uh, over the transmission lines, extending from Nigeria all the way to 
Benin Republic, Togo, and Ghana, and, and extending to Dakar, Senegal. But that is the vision of Phase 3, to be a uh, West African infrastructure uh, carrier company. And um, yeah, the plans are ongoing as we speak. Uh, plans are uh, on the way to implement the first phase of that expansion into Benin Republic and then Togo. Currently, Nigeria's internet penetration rate is put at over 40 million, and this is expected to remain on an upward slide in the coming years.